This is Sudo Kaiba, and thanks for listening to It's Recording Time Media, the most pathetic show you could listen to. You really should be listening to something I do, like KaibaCorp.com. Having a great time. Yes. Awesome. Everyone here having a great time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, The Amazing World Gumball is one of the most, uh, how to put it, it's one, of, uh, it's one of the most iconic shows of television right now. It, it looks start, it's, uh, it looks amazing and it looks completely different from any other show on television. What's it like working on it? Well, it's actually uh, pretty Pretty amazing, no pun intended. I mean, <laughs> we, we've been doing the show for, what, like four, five years? Yeah, definitely. And each and every day has just been a, a, a blessing, and it's super fun, and it, it's just great. I love it. Yeah, it's definitely like a, like a game changer, I think. Like, it's a, um, definitely an eye-opener when like, anybody like, explains to you how like, impactful the show is to them. And yeah, it's just like, it's just like, as Jake said, it's a blessing to be a part of it. Yeah. Awesome. So, boys, how do you, you two are, uh, are completely different characters, but you two are best friends. Do you guys interact a lot outside of the, outside of the show? We do. We, we, we do <laughs> fairly often. Uh, yeah, just last night, uh, we were just partying it up in the hotel room. Yeah, we were like <laughs> out last on our Xbox, yeah. so yeah, it was pretty fun, yeah. Awesome, and so that helps you guys get into the role. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah good chemistry. Say, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Is there anything you're not telling me? <laughs> well, well, folks, we have a special feature we're going to be doing today. It's called the Best Friends Challenge. So, is any, has anyone here heard of them, like uh, Jimmy Fallon and other shows like that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking questions from you. We're going to be alternating. And when you ask one of them, the other one has to guess what their favorite answer is. They'll be writing it down on the sheets, and then we'll find out how in sync the boys are. So, y'all ready for some questions? Oh, awesome. You with the awesome hat. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and go up to the microphone, sweet. Feel free to just rip it off, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my question. Oh, <laughs> There we go. My question is, if you could meet anyone in the universe except for if they're dead, who would you meet? Okay, okay. So, so this is where we write down our answers, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay. going to say, who do you want to ask the question to? Which one, uh, which one Darwin or Gumball? Uh, Darwin. All right, Darwin. So Darwin, you write down your answer. Gumball, you guess. So it's if you could be anyone in the universe that's not dead, right? Okay. Someone fictional or someone real? It can be fictional. Okay. Okay. Well, I, all right. I know. Do you know? I'm writing down my answer for you, and then you write down the answer for me. Okay. Oh. Oops. Oopsie. I wrote down my answer. <laughs> okay. Um, How well do you know me? Well then, yeah. Well then, I already know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ready? All right. Three, two, one. I put, I put, yeah, I put Naruto, is that right? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, alright, we're all taking it, alright, yeah. Let's do it! Wow. Thank you very much. Alright, let's question. have a question for Gumball, and then Darwin will guess. Alright, um... Uh, alright, hi guys, uh... Hi. So in The Amazing World of Gumball, you guys sing a lot of songs. So which song was your favorite song to sing? Okay, so let's see. remember the name of it. Wait, so I think I'm pretty sure I know what your favorite song is. Yeah, you know. And I'm pretty sure. I mean, what is that one called? I don't think I know it. Just put your bet. 
Just put your best guess. I'll probably guess. guess. All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You writing a novel? I'm writing my like <laughs> description of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see if they got it right. Uh, let's see if they guessed right. All right. Okay. Three, three, two, one. one. What did you put? I put I'm on my way. Okay. Well, you got it right. I put the one where we sing to Mr. Robinson. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm a G. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a question for Darwin, and then let's see if Gumball knows the answer. Ooh. What's your favorite episode you guys voiced together? Oh, uh, you're right. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I know. All right. Mm. What do I know? Goodness, TJ. <laughs> yeah? Oh, wait. Three, two, two, one. Wapa. I okay. put the one where you go Super Saiyan, and then also put a nice little drawing. Of super Saiyan. Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. I put the origins. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Right. You get at this. Go ahead. Uh, go. You can just take it out, yeah. Yeah. There we okay. go. There we go. Okay, so, um, sorry, just a little clarification on my side. But so, make sure that you're asking a question to one of the boys, and then the other one has to guess what they're writing. Oh, we were doing it wrong. Ah, it's all right. You guys are best friends, so it's fun. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> What's that? I have one for like both of them now. You have one of them? Uh, one for both of them? Well, let's just do a regular Q&A for this one. All right, cool. What's it like to pave the way for some people's childhood? Ooh, oh, man, that's a good, that's a good question. question. I mean, yeah. really, it's just, it's just awesome to, you know, be a part of that. I mean, I, I've had, uh, we, we both had actually fans just coming up on us to saying like, y you've changed our lives, you've, made my you are my childhood and it's just real it's just really great to be a part of that just creating the childlike innocence and adventure sense of adventure and fun for someone it's 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 really just it's just a great feeling honestly. yeah yeah definitely like i said like it's in like a truly like an eye opener when like you you um you go into something like uh the same way like everybody else feels like you're like um oh, this is like part of my childhood, I love it, like, that's like how I felt like going into this. So like, it's crazy that, um, that many people feel the same way about us, right? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Question, or do you want to continue the challenge? Um, I think I can continue the challenge. It's okay, so maybe all right, all right. break up the questions kind of question, but it's okay. Um, so what this one's for Gumball, what is the most annoying thing that you think he thinks about you? Ooh. All right, <laughs> so Ooh. what I think is annoying about you, yeah, yeah, okay, so then so, I write it down, yeah, I so. and then I so like, wait, you can write it down. So you're gonna write down what you think is the most annoying thing, and he's gonna write down the thing that he th that he thinks you think is the most annoying thing. Ah. Oh, okay. oh so I'm writing down the actual answer. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not annoying. I'm talking like every episode. It's in every single episode. <laughs> So I 
I have the answer. Wait, did you write down the annoying thing you think about me? All right, so I wrote down, I wrote down how, I wrote, I wrote okay, sorry, just blow it. I wrote down what you think is the most annoying trait about Gumball, like Darwin thinks is the most annoying trait of Gumball, and then you're supposed to write down what you think is the answer. So like, what does Gumball do that annoys Darwin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Exist. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna show it. Oh no, you should show it, because then I'll. I have all the suspense right here in okay. the palm of my hands. I put does dumb stuff. <laughs> it's actually true. It's Gumball's ideas. <laughs> 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 All right, sir. All right. So I won the kill challenge, and this question will be for uh, Jacob. So, Jacob, do you want to do voice work for? Or do you want to do voice work for uh, dubbing and or video games? Oh, try to get the answer. Okay, I know. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna write down my answer. Okay. So the question was, do I want to do dubbing for? Uh, uh, gaming, right? Oh no, I mean, do you want to for like any show? Yeah, do you want to do your voice work for uh, dubbing and and or do you want to do your voice work for video games? Oh, okay. So you have to rewrite mm -hmm. your Is there is there like a specific show? Uh, like... Nah, just in particular, uh, just uh, in general. Okay. Okay. Kind of a Q and A one. So I put like the the show you just want to do it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You. Oh, okay. You're a voice actor for. Or, the, or do video games? Uh, I mean, anime in general. I mean, do mm -hmm. English dub for uh, do voice work for English mm -hmm. dub and anime, or do you want to do uh, voice work for a video game? Boom boom. All right. Okay. So um, your three, two, one. Dude. Well, you're no, you're, no, you're no, you're supposed to show uh, it. Oh, I then, put Dragon Ball as a Z or any <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> so, yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Hey, in the, you look familiar. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Say that you go to sleep and then you wake up in Elmore as Gumball and Darwin. Okay. Uh, what would be the first thing you do? Okay, so is this okay. question for both of them? Yes. Okay. All right, so we'll just do normal Q&A. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So what would you do, man? I definitely would, like, go to the ocean and then, like, start breathing on the water. Yeah, <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. That sounds like so cool. First of all, I freak out because I'm like, what? I'm a cat. <laughs> and then second of all, I'd have to take uh, allergy pills, like a ton of them, because I'm highly allergic to cats. <laughs> and then I just have an amazing day with my best friend, who's a walking goldfish with with legs yeah, and can pretty talk. Much. Pretty much. <laughs> Thank you, Finn. Great right, question. Mighty Thor. Great question. Chris I have a question for both of you. What's okay. your favorite, favorite scene in from your episode called The Tape? Ooh. Uh, remind me what The Tape is about again. It's, uh... Your favorite scene from it. No, Alex, he's asking what the episode was about again. Yeah. He doesn't remember. Because we've done like 90, oh, like over 90 episodes. What's the episode about? Yeah. About the Make a video? Oh, that's oh. right! Wait, it's the yeah. one where we make our like own home video yeah. with like all the commercials and stuff, yeah. right? Okay. I, okay, yeah. I have an answer for you. Yeah. I think it's when at the end we find out that like we weren't recording anything. I think that's like the <laughs> best part. I mean, because that's really something that happens to me like a lot. And, and my mom, like she'll be recording me and she's like, it wasn't recording. And, and I'm like, okay, but well, we have to do it all over. So yeah, I think that was my favorite part. Oh man, I think my favorite part is probably Baby Anais. 
It's baby and I is living baby doll. Thank you. Thank you, boy. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, can you go? Yeah. <laughs> How does this come out? You just rip it out with all your might. Oh my god. Yeah. There you go. Uh, first off, good morning. I met you guys yesterday. We That's uh, right. did the live streaming. Well, uh, we are live streaming this right now from Unlocked, the anime <gasps> and pop culture streaming app. And we have a live question um, from Rafe Adler. And he asked, who is their least favorite gumball character? Ooh. Ooh. I would say Rob if I was Gumball, but I love villain characters. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one, that actually. That is actually, it's, I have to think. Let me... It's probably Tobias. Tobias? Because he's just the worst. <laughs> like, he's the absolute, he's just the worst. Okay, I'm gonna go, is it Bobbert? Is that his name? Yeah, yeah, the robot. I'm gonna go with Bobbert. The only reason, because I don't actually have like a least favorite character. But that episode where like he was like pretending to be Gumball and like he was like actually like like um like like faking everybody being a total dingleberry. Yeah, I was like I was getting like so mad. I was like, that's not Gumball. Don't believe it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably like one of like one of my least favorites, even though I don't really have one. Yeah. All right. And just to add on to that, everyone on here is very happy to see you all, and thanks for the great work. Thank well, we're happy so to see all of you. Thank you. Thank you. It's that another hat. Pokemon master. What's your favorite character besides yourself? All right, so we should probably do friendship challenge for this yeah, one, right? I, okay. Okay. So who wants to who wants to be the one who's guessing? Uh, well, I you've been guessing for like the past few questions. Oh, All right. right so yeah, yeah. Jacob's okay. gonna guess on this one. All right. So I have to guess what your favorite character yes. is. Okay. You better know this. It's my well, favorite character. Oh, yeah. I'm not looking. Stay <laughs> here. I think this is right. I think I think so. Okay. All right. I'm ready. All right. So I'll show mine and then you show yours. Yeah. Three, two, one. Clayton. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm <laughs> so worried. <laughs> Great question. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> hey, stranger. <laughs> uh, in the Marvel Universe, this is, this is for you, Jacob. Okay. In the Marvel Universe, who's your favorite uh, character or super villain? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know this one, friend, actually. Uh, can this friendship one be a friendship challenge? Yes. Okay, all right. Well. So, okay. Uh, okay, so since the Marvel Universe is the biggest universe known to man, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little leeway. It's okay. a superhero. Okay. All right. So you can just like no no. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I I can at least give you that. I'm trying to think of like all the like the posters in like your your room. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know. Are you using your psychic powers? Yeah, I was trying to like think about what you were writing, but it didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna put down my favorite one. <laughs> yeah? yeah. I hope it's the same. All right, cool. Oops. All right, all right. So you show yours. I put Spider-Man. Uh. So if anybody's <laughs> wondering, that's my favorite Marvel character. It? <laughs> it's yeah. close. What is it? It's actually Wolverine. Oh. Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. It's my favorite Marvel okay. character. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was going to say, though. Okay, okay good question. Yeah, but I was thinking Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, now you... Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure All right, clarify. here's the challenge and the question. They challenge it, which is the one show you guys want to do a crossover with? And the, oh, and the other one's a question. Are you guys friends with Jeremy Sada, who voices Finn on Adventure Time, or Zach, who uh, voices Steven Universe? I am actually friends with Zach. Uh, we have a show that we're doing together. It's a Netflix DreamWorks animated series that it, 
I can't say anything about it yet, uh, but NDA, I know. hopefully soon. Um, I've seen, like, I mean, Finn's right there, but like, <laughs> yeah. I've, and right there, uh, I've actually... I, I, I think we're acquaintances. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't I, yeah. just go on like, yeah, we're friends, we're best friends. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish. wish. I wish, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Okay, what was the uh, other question? The uh, challenge. One challenge, which is the one uh, show you want Gumball to do a crossover with? All right, okay. and who do you want to... Who are I'll, you challenging, Gumball I'll, or Gumball? I'll guess, I'll guess. Okay. Okay. You know. You already hmm. know. So Wait, I'll guess your answer. Is it any answer. show or just like current or any show really? Ooh. All right, so I'll guess your answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're in on yours. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Oops. Naruto. Yeah. Naruto? Naruto? Naruto! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Naruto over, over Adventure Time? <laughs> True. All right, that's oh. a good one. That's a good one. That's a good but one. Naruto, though. Or regular you show? Don't do the Naruto, thing. though. That's... So this is more as a Q&A. Um, do you guys do screenwriting, or do you want to do anything else inside the film industry? Ooh, Ooh this is a good question, actually. Um, well, I'm going to college for um, film, so that's like my that's gonna be my major. I like my thing is like uh, directing. That's also what I do, and I'm planning on writing a film this year. So hopefully it comes out. Nice so, man. Yeah. Oh, what kind of film are you thinking about writing? Um, that I don't know because my favorite genre is like action. But I think if I do something other than that and like test my limits, I think that'll be a, like a good idea. So yeah, maybe like a drawing or maybe that's that's kind of what I'm going for. Interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I actually want to get into animation. Um, I even have like my own idea for a cartoon I want to make. So, if I could do that, that would be great. Yes. Yeah. That was a beautiful question. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 So. We've seen all your final products of all your shows. Do you have any background stories that have happened whenever you're creating the shows that may be interesting to the crowd? Ooh, background stories for when we're creating the shows. Well, actually, uh, my audition process for Gumball, um, it was my, this is the closest I can get to like creating it. Um, I auditioned when I was like 11. Uh, it was just like a couple pages of Gumball and they were like, okay, this is great. We're gonna put you through a series of tests, which were snippets of episodes that hadn't been released yet, and then I would actually have to record entire episodes as a test. So like, I'd go into the booth and just be recording entire episodes, I think like maybe two or three, and I did that for like a month until they finally accepted me as Gumball Watterson. <laughs> How long were your booth sessions? They actually uh, take like a couple hours or so. They're not that long for one person. Yeah, and um, I don't know, like regarding like stuff that like happened or maybe like behind the scenes stuff. I think um, one, it's like super funny seeing all like the like the memes that like animators would put in like the storyboards and stuff that like you know aren't gonna like be finally released. <laughs> they sometimes, do do that. sometimes they do, but like there's always like background jokes and stuff um, like that. But also I think, um, I tell this story like a lot cause it's like one of my favorite moments. Like when we had to uh, burp out our lines for one episode, like I drank like a bunch of Coke to do it cause I couldn't burp on command and I was just like off the walls, like just going crazy like for the rest of like the 49 minutes of the session. So that was really cool, so yeah. It was, that was yeah. really yeah, cool. Yeah, it was really cool, I loved it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have you learned to burp on command since? I have. <laughs> I can actually do that. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? And for you, carbon rolls is one and spinning webs is another. How do you know? Now I should do another one. Okay. All right. So, why do you want to do this? Do I guess or do you guess? So uh, I think, uh, Jacob, you guess and okay. Terrell, answer, uh, yeah. and Terrell writes his answer. Okay, so I'm not allowed to use webs or climbing on walls? No, you're not. You're I'm right. changing it. I'm I think change. it means one okay. or the other. It's one or the other. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
it's so hard because then there's Marvel, but then there's anime. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. I think you're gonna get this one wrong. <laughs> All right, I got it. Okay. One, so, two, my guess oh. was Rasengan? You got it wrong. Oh, I told you. Ah. I told you. Mine was... Oops. Mine was teleport teleportation. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Using that instant transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. He's back. I have a question for both of you. What's your favorite... Favorite DC hero? Ooh. I think Coming from a Marvel You have the same one, right? <laughs> is, it, is, is, it is it Batman? Batman? Is it Batman? Yeah. Batman. Yeah. 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 He's so sick. Shout out to the Dark Knight. One of my favorite movies. Yeah. He's more powerful than Superman. Changed my mind. <laughs> Alright, well here, yeah, that's correct. But also, Batman has plans for taking out every single superhero he knows. So he's sure that he can do it. There's, there's relationships that he can target to manipulate Superman. Mm -hmm. So he knows every weakness of everyone. He won't touch Martha. Wait a minute, this is the same name? Oh yeah, okay, plot. Thank you. Thank you. Great question. <gasps> She's coming back around. Use your strength. There you go. Who's your favorite supervillain? Give up with you. Ooh. Ooh. Both of them. Supervillain? Yeah. Oh, that's a toughie. I don't want to say Thanos because, I mean, like, I, Thanos was my favorite supervillain before it was even a movie. Right. So, oh man, I'm probably, I'm actually going to have to go with Thanos. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with the Joker. I've yeah. loved Joker for, like, a long time. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely the Joker. Great game. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. But do you think Thanos and Joker would get along? Would they work together? I mean, definitely. I think Thanos would kill the Joker, like, if he made too many, like, jokes. Like, after, like, three, like, puns, he'd definitely, like... Dude, no, 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 here's the thing. He'd die... Thanos would die of boredom because his jokes are not funny. Oh. oh. Wow. All right. Next question. Some of them are funny. Hello, welcome back. So uh, this question will be for each of you. Uh, how do you relate to the character whom you voice on Amazing World of Gumball? Ooh, that's a good question. I already know you. <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, I'm a, you know what? I'm going to answer for you. You answer for me. Okay. All right. So Jake uh, also has a lot of dumb jokes, just like <laughs> Gumball. Like, constantly, he's like telling jokes in my ear while I'm signing autographs and stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> Go yeah, um, also like sometimes he has a lot of like dumb ideas, but not too much. Like I guess he's gotten more mature. I guess. But Oh yeah? Yeah. You're younger yeah. than me by the yeah. way. Um it's whatever. But um yeah, but he's really he's really funny though, because like I think that oh, everybody like has that like that one friend that like is always gonna be like there for you no matter what. And I think that's Jake. Buddy. Yeah. Aww. Dumb will be weird. <laughs> Alright. Well, I was gonna give you a hug, but okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna have to go with like, you're like the guide. Like I just come up with the stupidest stuff, and you have to tell me like, no, <laughs> let's not let, let, let let's not eat pounds of pizza. <laughs> yeah, but, then I, but then I do it, and then you're like, dude. I said, why uh, did you do that? <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna have that happened last night. That that's a recent. <laughs> Um, but I'm having, I'm gonna have to also go with our friendship. I mean, like, we're inseparable, you know? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Thank, you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Also, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm a little offended, dude. Did you not mean it? Is that, is that a thing that you didn't mean? Next question! Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like you got more from the unlocked, uh, unlocked people. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what's up, dudes? Um, I'm from Unlocked, the anime and uh, pop culture streaming. <laughs> we have got a question from. Uh, I lost it. Hold on. All right, dude. Watch that. All right, from uh, Noah Gibson. They said, ask them what their favorite video game series is. 
Okay. Um, that's that's a tough one. It has many layers. I know. Many many layers. Oh, I'm like Shrek. To, I'm gonna have to go yeah. with uh, Shrek Racing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go with Legend of Zelda. That's 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 always hold a special place in my heart. Um, I'm gonna have to go because I think I've legitimately played everyone besides the second one. I'm gonna have to go with the Call of Duty series because I think Ooh. that's like a memorable one that like every like almost everybody has played like a Call of Duty no matter like what no matter if you don't even own one but like yeah I think that's gonna go with, that's gonna have to be my favorite. That's one. true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, thanks, brothers. All right, thank you. Come thanks, dude. Thank you. You return. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy beat the lich a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah. No joke. A wizard gives you three wishes. What are those wishes? All right. Was this Best question. My first one is to wish for more wishes. <laughs> my second one is to wish for unlimited wishes. You can't wish for more. <laughs> okay. Or unlimited. It's against the genie rules. <laughs> what would your wishes be? Um. Hmm. Okay. I would wish to teleport. Um. Have a raw singing. Yeah. And have. Anything explode whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you and explosions, man? So cool. like, this was yesterday. <laughs> so cool. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say my first wish is to be a Saiyan, and then my second wish is not to wish for Super Saiyan because I want to be able to work to that myself. So my second wish is gonna have to be some instant transmission, and then my third wish. You know what? Adamantium Claws. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. So this is a, another Q&A question. Um, all, right, all, right, all right. What are some tips you gave to the new voice actors? Mm. Some tips? Well, um, I'd say to first of all start out at workshops would be, uh, oh, let's do some three. Let's do three. So first one, uh, start out workshops. That's what I did. That's how I discovered that I wanted to real. I, I love cartoons, but that's how I discovered I really wanted to get into voice acting. And you know, you learn so much uh, technically wise, uh, vocally. And uh, second is to take singing lessons um, because if you can sing, then that means your range is has been expanded. You know, higher, lower. Mm -hmm. Um, and third is confidence. Never let anyone get you down because I actually had to work really hard to get where I am today. It didn't just come like that. It never does. So as long as you have that perseverance and that confidence where you know that you can do this, you'll get anywhere you want to. Yeah. Like Jake said, I think one of the most important things is definitely confidence and also perseverance because if you... You can be confident and say, like, I want this, like, because that's what I did. I, I found out that I was auditioning for the, for the role, and I was like, okay, this is mine. I'm not letting anybody have this. But even if sometimes you don't get an opportunity, you have to make sure you have perseverance so that you can push on and always, like, keep going no matter, like, what, um, what hardships, like, bring you down. That's one of the most important things. Um, this, like, I think the second most important thing would probably be to... Um, to make sure you bring your character to like any role you're playing, because I think if you don't do that, you're kind of like um, you're kind of like lost almost. You um, you don't have your own thing, and I think that's really important because people would be able to recognize you even if they don't see your face on a screen, and I think that's very important. So yeah. How do you bring that character forward? Like, what's uh... that's kind of like first the first. Uh, way to do that is to kind of recognize your own style and kind of like analyze it and then uh, bring the things you like, try to bring that to everything you do. And I think that's like, mm -hmm. the, like one of the first ways to like kind of really do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. personality is definitely important. Yeah. Person, yes, yes. Awesome, next question. My question's for Terrell. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed sometimes when Darwin gets excited, his voice cracks a little bit. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> notices that now. Yeah. Is that something you intended, or was that something that just happened while recording? Most of the time, sadly, it was just happening. Whenever I would like have to yell or scream, that just my voice would just crack. But um, 
so I kind of realized that it was like really funny. So sometimes I would do it on purpose. It was like maybe like two times that happened on purpose. But also when it was like called for through the script, I would definitely do that. So yeah, I'd say 90% of the time it was me on my own accidentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can kind of do it on command. Um. Mm, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Sad, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings. Greetings. Hi. Okay, first of all, are you having a great time with Second Amendment? Yes. Yes, yes. What kind of question is that? Of course we are. <laughs> um, and secondly, you guys, um, after hearing the saying in Naruto thing, you guys are definitely an anime. Will you yes. find yourselves in a panel or an autograph line, like, for example, here, waiting to see the, um, the people um, I assume you would, you would admire? Oh yeah, I actually uh, met Sean Schemmel, the voice of Goku, on the first day. Yeah. And uh, we were just hitting it up, like we were just talking for like, a good <laughs> hour, and I was dying inside. And then uh, I got to skip like the entire line to his booth so I could get some stuff signed, and it was great. He's such a cool guy. Yeah, we're pretty much best friends. Like, <laughs> we're pretty much yeah, best friends. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With Goku. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Unlock it. Did you just steal that girl's hat? <laughs> what? No. I've never been a Hey guys, um, I'm from Unlock, the anime and uh, live streaming the pop cool. Oh, I told you there was uh, Unlock. Person. Um, and Betsy wants to know what is your favorite line in Amazing World of Gumball? <laughs> All right, you go first, Mary, because I need time to think about mine. Favorite line, favorite line. You know, I don't think I have a favorite line in general. I think anytime Darwin has to scream or like when he's like screaming no and like agony or something, I think those are so fun to do for me because I love screaming. I can't do that at home that much. So yeah, that's like that's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. I think my favorite line is when, uh, well, what happens is NIEs is getting uh, bullied, and uh, Darwin and I kind of like misunderstand and think she's the bully, but when she finally gets the point across, like, no, I'm the one getting bullied, I just like turn like, full on Super Saiyan, and I'm like, <laughs> let's nail this guy! <laughs> and it was so cool because it was my dream fulfilled. I'm like, all right, pack my bags. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. I'm sorry. That, that was really bad beatboxing. I'm, I'm, I'm usually way better. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Say that the directors let you create your own character. What's its name and what does it look like? Oh, so we gotta draw it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. This is happening. Nice space to work with. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Here we All go. Right. So. Let's see. Is he an animal? No. He's. I got it. He's a vegetable. <laughs> All right. He's a carrot. <laughs> His name is Kakarot, no. <laughs> uh, and he's over 9,000! 9,000?! <laughs> There's no way that could be right! Uh, alright. And he's got... leaves... poking out of his little head. He's got like, he's got like, maybe three. Alright, let's give it like an Ed Ed and Eddie style. One's big, one's medium, one's short. Okay. Nice. He's got a frown, because he's always looking for a strong opponent. He's got like, he's totally got an anime face, like straight up. He doesn't have a nose, because he's a carrot, but he... He is the nose. That's a set, that's a superpower. He is the nose. All right, great. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Did I just hear a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, his feet should be like the little dangly roots, right? Is that gross? Do you, would you consider that to be a gross thing? Like his feet would be like the roots? Is that weird or no? I, you know what? I don't know why you're I don't care what you're saying. I don't know why you're asking me. Boom, boom. Yeah. Ow, right there. Boom, right there. And. So hurry. All right. He's. All right, and he's got like um. <laughs> he's got a carrot in his hand. <laughs> For any of you who watch uh, Oni plays or Oni and G animates. <laughs> Um, he always draws like super disgusting and like really terrifying things. So that's usually what I do. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to make it family friendly here. This, look, he's got an aura around him too. He's charging up his power. All right, Ooh. so what have we got here? All right, here All we right. go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, this is what I have to say. Here he is! Here's the big boy himself. <laughs> I'm proud of this. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? The hidden leaf here? Hero. Hero? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Daruto, the hidden oh. leaf hero. Daruto, the hidden leaf hero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have time for a few more questions. Yo, yo. Hi. Uh, yo, I was up, wondering who you like to watch on YouTube. If we watch what? I said, who would you, who you like to watch on YouTube? Who do I watch on YouTube? You can answer. Um, I watch Game Grumps. Okay. If you don't know who that is, they're just two dudes playing video games and making each other laugh, saying stupid things, and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I think... I, I think. No, I watch um, Vanosh Gaming. I've been watching him since I was like like 10, I think. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. Also, I watch Chris Media. Shout out to Chris. Like, he's one of my favorite car vloggers. So yeah. Nice. Good choice. Thank you. Thank you, man. <gasps> it's a fellow cat. <laughs> Meow, good ma'am. Good ma'am. I'm actually a call me from Miraculous. Anyway, this question is a Q and A for both of you. Uh, what was your oddest experience with a crazy fan? Oh, I think. Uh, all right, so it's actually one of the coolest experiences. Yesterday at a panel, we had someone come up uh, and like ask us a question, and he was holding a notebook in his hand. And after his question, he gave it to us, and it's an like it's an entire notebook. Like it was a probably three, probably three bigger part, than this. Part. Yeah. Of of like a gumball story that he made, yeah, which is really cool. That was sick. Yeah, you know, I I don't think I've really had any like crazy like or particularly bad experiences uh, with a fan. But I remember like one time when when I went to school, um, one of my friends was like, "Wait, are you Darwin?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "No, you're not." I was like, uh, I, I am, actually. <laughs> Where would you ask? Uh, and I was, I was like, um, I, I am. He was like, do the voice. And then I did it, and he was like, are you really Darwin? <laughs> and I was like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be yeah. Please. So my question for you guys is, if you if you guys were to be trapped in a video game, what video game would it be? Zelda. Ooh. Zelda. Wow, you already answered, so I have no Ooh, idea. That is a good question. Which Zelda? Oh. Probably, yeah, I'm going to give you time to think, and then I'll elaborate to give you more time to think. Okay. Probably Majora's Mask. Um, that's like the darkest game in the series. Like. 
the world's going to end, and you have to stop it. And at one point, it does. Let's spoil Majora's Mask. Over and over. And you okay. Have to rewind time. It. Dude, Majora's Pretty Mask nice. has been around since, like, what? Yeah, but I'm, I'm still playing freaking. Um, what do you mean? Ocarina of Time. What? Are you going to finish it? <laughs> I don't know. Sometime. <laughs> Sometime has to come soon now, right. doesn't it? Yeah. All right. But yeah, Majora's Mask. Because it's like that aspect of, like, I'm going to save the world kind of thing. Okay, so hmm. let's see. I would say Grand Theft Auto, but like I feel like I would be like really scared for my life anytime like I woke up. Like I just would I wouldn't be able to go outside. So then I think I'm gonna go with Red Dead Redemption 2. That game yeah. is so beautiful. I could just be camping, you know, living life I'm with my horse, Betsy, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Wrangling some strangers. Yeah. Camping out in the woods. Pretty much. Isn't there like UFOs in that game? Yeah, yeah. I actually found it too. <laughs> what? Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Thank Great. You. Thank you. Oh, this guy looks tough. <laughs> hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm from Unlocked, the anime and pop culture streaming app. Uh, Sean wanted to know, aside from voice acting, what would be a dream job of yours to have? Besides Ooh, voice acting. Besides voice acting. You got fired right now. Hmm. But you could get your dream job. What oh, we're fired. Doing? Okay, so we're out of work right now. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Dream, dream job would probably be race car driver. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Definitely. Definitely. Just be racing. Bro. Nice. I want to be a superhero, but it doesn't pay. <laughs> so if I. I've actually been really interested in robotics lately. Um, I've been watching videos on YouTube about how uh, war vets that have been injured and their service have gotten like artificial limbs that electronic, they're, they're like robotic arms and legs. And I just think that's so cool. Like, and it's just, it's, it's really amazing how you can, you know, give them that humanity that they've lost. And if I, if I could do that, you know, helping out people and also building robots, that would be great. Well, that was a great answer. <laughs> that made my answer suck. <laughs> oh, dude, you, go, you gotta go fast! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Oh, thank, thank you, man. And back to the beginning. <laughs> First, gosh, sorry. Um, hold on. Take your time, bud, take your time. Box, go. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> I can't be boxed. <laughs> Sarah, it's Grace. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> wow. Oh. For the characters I just have, I just had you make, create an episode for them. Okay. Okay. All right, All so right. I'm going to take mine back out because we have to get some visual. Good thing they're both fighters, though, because mm -hmm. now we know what we can do with them. Yeah. They go get ice cream. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? Um, I know what you're thinking it is, and it's not. It's actually a tree. It's not an explosion. Oh, I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was broccoli. My character's worst nemesis. <laughs> okay, so this is the background. All right. So here we go. All right. So 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 this is a a, a manga. We have to do it. Okay. <laughs> this way. So <laughs> why is it upside down? Actually, this is a regular book. Okay. Here we go. This is a comic book. Okay. So, Daruto comes in. He's over here with his kunai out. And oh. Yep. Living life. Um, and then he sees. All right, so like, you're just chilling in the woods, right? And then Unknown comes in, and he's like, I've been searching for the most powerful being in the universe. <laughs> I sense your key is unlimited. We shall fight to the death. Okay, uh, and then we start fighting. Boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And then, and then I'm getting beat up by a carrot. So right? he's too second. powerful. He's too strong. All right, filler episode. <laughs> <laughs>
filler episode is when they're on a boat, in case you haven't watched Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> so then, we have... Wait, hold on. <laughs> um, what is that? <laughs> we have... Karama Ball, I need you! Alright, is that his poker? So then, Karama comes out, and he's like, <laughs> Kill him! And then, I say, no, I can't kill him. I must hit him with no. the power of love! <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. Alright, I guess. So then he's like, You fool, you fool, I'm immune to love! <laughs> and I say, no one's immune. To love. And I give you a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> and I'm like, ew. And then I just punch you in the face. I'm trying to avoid this stupid plot. The <laughs> end. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. The power of love conquers all. And we got the last question. If Gumbo and Darwin ever met Deadpool, what would their reaction be? And Ooh. trust me. If they Deadpool. met Deadpool? I think okay. they would love him because of Deadpool's jokes, definitely. Honestly, all right, so if Gumball and Darwin met Deadpool, right, would they be, they would, they, okay, first, they would be a little freaked out. Deadpool's a little canon, just to let people know. He's, yeah. he's actually canon in the Elmore universe. It's, it's proven, look it up. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> he's in Gumball, he's been in there. Re rewind back to like the first episode, you'll see him. Uh, yeah, so they, they'd be a little freaked out because he's got swords and guns and yeah. knives. Yeah. But then they'd be pretty chill because actually, Deadpool isn't that bad of a guy. All he wants is just to hang out with a talking cat and fish with legs. Yeah, pretty much. So they just have an awesome You'd have adventure, a good time. right? Yeah. 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 Definitely. F fighting, uh, fighting Josh Brolin and then teaming up with him. And then, uh, then Juggernaut, did right, that happen? You were having a good time, <laughs> oh, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this is the best fan fiction ever. <laughs> oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great question. Okay. Looks like we actually have one more from the Unlocked team. <gasps> Wait, no, I haven't seen this man before. I don't know, top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question from Adam wants to know, what was the first video game you've ever played? Ooh. Ooh. It's actually really not that interesting. You want to go first? Um, no, because mine isn't interesting either. All right. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Uh, I think my first video game that I ever played was uh, this Game Boy game. Uh, I first got my Game Boy when I was like five. And, um, and it was called March of the Penguins. <laughs> And it was based off of a documentary about penguins. And what you do is they're just these penguins that are marching at like 0 0.11 miles per, per like hour. And you ha there's like holes in the ground and like they have to like climb up and you have to like drag like uh, items to like help them overcome these obstacles. And I still don't know how it works to this day. I can't get past the first obstacle. Like what do I do? What am I supposed to do? Um... I think the first video game I played was like, I think it was Super Mario Brothers on the DS. That was like the first one that like I actually like, I think that was the first one I actually completed. That was like my second one. Really? Yeah. 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 So that was, uh, it's like iconic, like Mario is like an icon in, in this world, so yeah. yeah. For sure. All right. Thank you very much, there, lads. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. I'm actually part haters. And I want to thank everyone for being out here, and I want to thank everyone com uh, for coming to see them. Y'all have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. yeah. so y'all have a good time. <laughs> wow, that Woo! was even worse the second time. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. <laughs> well, guys, I want to thank you guys for coming out here, and thank I hope you, you have a thank great you. rest of the show. Everyone, have a great rest of the show. Go and see them. They're, uh, this is, uh, is oh. a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hopefully That's not right. once in a lifetime. Okay. Yeah, but we'll be back. back. We also have photo ops uh, right across the hall in case you guys want to come on down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh. we have autograph sessions as well downstairs, so check that out. Definitely check it out. Come say hi. Come get an autograph. Yeah. Perfect. Do it. <laughs> <laughs>